So I recently made a post about AI taxidermy being posted on Facebook, and this is kind of like a follow-up to that. So I am going to apologize in advance because this is going to sound like a little bit conspiracy theorist, but if you're somebody who's interested in purchasing taxidermy, especially if you're purchasing it online, I do think that you should watch this video. So I know I'm not the only person who saw this post come across their feed um, like last week or so. And now if you're not paying attention, like I certainly wasn't when I first noticed this, some of these do look passable. Like these bottom two, especially if I was not paying attention and just quickly scrolling through my Facebook feed, I could excuse the problems with the mounts as just a, oh, that's just somebody messed up while they're making the mount. This top guy, however, yeah, that's not realistic at all. Like, it's harder to tell with taxidermy animals versus actual real animals because stuff with like the eyes, um, you can excuse that as, oh, the taxidermist messed up. And that's what I think makes this kind of um, AI use really nefarious. Now, if you look at the tips of those ears though, that is metal of some kind. I hope that you wouldn't have metal sticking out of your mouth like that. And that top one up there, if you look at the background, it looks like they actually did steal some stuff um, that was more furry inspired. Like some of those uh, mounts, I think they're supposed to be in the background, look more like some fursuits that I've seen. And no animal's got a face like a, it looks like a stuffed animal kitten, let's be honest. Now you might be looking at this and saying, well, you know, okay, it's AI, that's really bad and all, but who's gonna care if somebody like mistakes Mr. Antler Head here for a real person? Like, what harm is there? So what was actually alarming for me about this page wasn't just that they were sharing AI taxidermy, that is what it is unfortunately these days on Facebook, but it was also they were sharing real taxidermy, like this mount here. So if you run in the same circles as me, you might recognize this mount. This is from Trailblazer Taxidermy, formerly known as Weird City Taxidermy. They did one of my mounts actually. Um, and this was stolen off of their Tumblr page, which last I checked is pretty inactive. And I don't think that it's a bot running this account because it's not very easy to find that picture I've just showed you. You have to know what you're looking for. It's not gonna come up on a basic Google search. So aside from the very obvious art theft, why is that a problem? People like me, we buy our taxidermy and sometimes we buy it online, which can be very problematic because there's a lot of scammers out there. I'm actually gonna make a whole separate video about how to spot scammers because honestly, I feel like some Facebook taxidermy groups are more scammers than they are actual sellers. This page wasn't just farming views like most of the AI pages are where they are purposely attracting other AI bots or other bot accounts so that Facebook will pay them. This one wasn't getting any bots in the comment section. They were getting actual real people. And some of those real people were in fact confused by the AI and did fall for it and think that those AI mounts were real mounts. So this is where I'm gonna come off a little conspiracy theorist, but imagine for a second I'm trying to scam you out of your money and I post these beautiful looking AI mounts and stolen mounts um, from other pages and then I start saying, hey, I'm open for commissions. Send me your pelts and I will mount them for hundreds or thousands of dollars. Now, are these pages doing that scam? Not that I've seen, but it could very quickly turn into that. And as AI technology inevitably gets better and better, it's gonna be harder and harder to spot the fake taxidermy because again, unlike a real animal, a taxidermy mount can have flaws. A taxidermist isn't going to be perfect. So I'm gonna make that follow-up video now about how to avoid scammers because I myself have unfortunately been scammed in the past and I know how much it sucks. But in the meantime, keep an eye out for these AI taxidermy posts, and if you can report these kind of profiles, I definitely encourage it. I doubt that the social media websites will do anything about it, but we can try.